and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I'll be working with actually quite a few different um, new releases from Spellbinders this month. So I've got a couple of dice from the Inspired Basics. This one is the um, Glimmer Flowers. Uh, I think it's Flowers for You. And then I've got the um, Decorative Tag die set as well. And I'm using the new Solid Shapes glimmer plates which are awesome they're so cool so I think you can get them in three maybe four different shapes um but what I have is the uh square one and I think they have the rectangle an oval and a circle so lots of different techniques that you can be doing with these different shaped uh solid glimmer plates I've uh, got this panel here, which I um, stenciled this sort of um, argyle pattern onto with some of my um, Nouveau mousse, and I just die cut from that the tag shape. And I actually die cut the tag shape from another um, uh, just plain white cardstock that is 120 pound, and I doubled them up, but I reversed it so that the plain uh, white one when I attach to the back actually has that professional cut edge um, facing outward. That way it looks nice and finished on both the front and the back. And these flowers are so gorgeous. And what I love about having the solid shape plate is that you can actually whatever pieces you have left over from your original foiling, you can foil that onto some cardstock as well and then you get sort of the reverse so the original foil plate will foil um in this case i'm using sort of a uh, pink magenta foil and so you get that outline to design onto white cardstock which is what i chose but then what was left over from the foiling i used my solid square plate and just foiled that onto um another piece of white cardstock. And so the, the look that you get is kind of um, different and and really unique. And extra bonus is that none of your foil goes to waste because you've got, you know, you've essentially used up the entire um, little section of foil that you've cut off. And I did that with the sentiment too. So you can see off to the side in my pile there, when I, gl when I glimmer, I just go to town and I glimmer up um, a bunch. That way, while my machine, my machine is nice and hot, I can, um, you know, get a lot of foiling done at, for multiple projects, and I don't have to kind of turn it on and off, wait for it to heat up, and I always aim to foil more than I think I'll need for that particular crafting session. That way I have a lot of options to choose from. And like I said, I don't have to stop and, and turn the machine back on just to foil one extra piece. I'm not very likely to do that. <laughs> and so um, I also, anytime I turn my glimmer machine on, I also take it as an opportunity to foil some extra sentiments too, just to keep in a little stockpile. So I attached the flowers, which you get in this set, three different designs. They're kind of little um, dainty um, sort of floral uh, bouquets uh, that are just sort of tied together. And they're really sweet and delicate. And even when you foil onto white, I don't really think that you need to necessarily color them in but I actually I love the the negative version the version I'm using on this tag where um you know it's the foiled portion is actually the um the negative space and the design is actually the native you know color of the cardstock coming through I I just think it looks gorgeous that way and I I have a lot of extra flowers and so I'll probably craft um with that glimmer um 
those glimmered uh, pieces again and maybe try to mix and match the two also the positive and the negative because I think I think that looks very striking as well just looking at them in a pile like uh, <laughs> off to the side like that I think with with um, some more attention to uh, composition they could look really nice and so that's achievable with you know that solid glimmer plate the um, uh, flowers also have coordinating dyes too, so that's why um, they look so perfectly cut out because the um, the dyes that match are really easy to line up and they give you just that small little border all the way around. I will say though that the glimmer plate, what's interesting is even though you do get the outline dyes to cut out each of the three different uh, floral bouquet designs, the glimmer plate, though, has all three bouquets on one glimmer plate. So what I did, because I knew I was going to be die cutting, was I I just cut out little pieces of um, foil, just, just large enough to cover the design, and I glimmered, you know, the, the ones that I wanted to use. I actually glimmered them all um, at the end of the day. But because they are all on one plate. The other thing that you could do is create a background, uh, which I haven't done, but looking at that plate the way it was designed, it's not three separate floral um, glimmer plates. It's one glimmer plate with the three floral bouquets on it. So you could maybe either uh, glimmer maybe a border strip if you just want it to glimmer the one time and have all three bouquets sort of, um, they're a little bit staggered and, but running in a straight line, or you can do multiple, um, foilings and repeat the design across your entire panel. So really pretty versatile. And I love that we do get the coordinating dies to, uh, die cut them out individually as well. In the, uh, decorative tag die set, we do get, three different uh, dies that will cut designs into your card, like you can see at the bottom here. And I love uh, that I just happened to have uh, some pattern paper that matched uh, the that design. I think it has a name. I don't know the name of that design where you've got the circle and, and the different um, uh, sort of decorative components of it uh, that are cut out. And, um, and so I thought it, w it worked out really well. Now I put glue at the bottom where it's open, which I didn't need to probably would have been better to put my glue on the pattern paper, <laughs> but, um, but it worked out and it's, it will dry perfectly clear. So it's okay. But you do get three different options for that pattern that cuts into your card. It doesn't cut, it doesn't have an outside cutting edge. So you can create these beautiful little, um, decorative uh, touches and then there's a second die or another die I should say that you can actually see on camera here that will cut out sort of a fringe uh, design so that's kind of neat too I didn't use that for uh, this set of tags but I think it would be really fun um, and apply it will create a, like a lot of texture and interest in your um, tag designs and I'm putting just a little bit of fray check on the ends of my ribbon uh, that I'll loop through the hole at the top of the uh, tag, which is uh, die cut along with the tag shape itself. And this is a really nice size tag too. And the other, um, because it's the other side is just white, you can put, you know, a little note, write a little note there, um, whatever, whatever you want. I think it's, um, and it's got that nice professional finish to it um which i i really i really like that having that die cut edge that sort of rounded die cut edge um i really like for that to show on both sides and the from me to you is also a glimmer um set which is um one of the past glimmers of the month you can see it on screen it's from december of 2020 and it's a gorgeous one it's got the beautiful frames that you can kind of mix and match and as you can see here too after i glimmered the from me to you uh words onto <clears throat> paper in this case i i used sort of a teal uh foil then i used my solid square 
glimmer plate and I glimmered the negative. So you get white text onto this gorgeous foiled background and it's just it works so well and it you know because it's designed to go with the glimmer machine you, I get a perfect foiling every time I'm foiling onto white hammer mill it's their um digital uh color copy paper it's a hundred pound and it just always works for me perfectly when I glimmer now for some of these I had a little oopsies like you might have seen on my flower which I covered up with the uh, the sentiment um but for the most part you know I get near perfect foiling every time and I and I love it so really cute tags very quick to put together I hope that you enjoyed uh, this project today and if you did please consider liking commenting and sharing and if you want please subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell so that you can catch new videos as I post them thanks so much and until next time happy crafting and have a fantastic day bye